Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing this makeup look that's very light, perfect for every day, perfect for those days when you're working at home, and using not a lot of products, but all of them are from Black-owned brands. I'm so excited for this look, and I'm excited for you to keep watching. So to start, I'm using the Lip Bar Just a Tint 3-in-1 Tinted Skin Conditioner. This might be a little too dark for me, I'm not sure. It's in the beige bombshell shade. And um, it's really cool because it also has SPF 11. So yeah, but this is definitely possibly too dark for me. I'm hoping that... <laughs> I'm hoping that it'll kind of, um, I don't know, work. Um, so clearly I made the mistake of getting the wrong shade, but I do like the finish of it. Um, oh my God, that's so not my shade. <laughs> and you can get this nice um, tinted moisturizer from Target, which is really cool. I'm just gonna put this all over my face now and we'll see what happens. And I've got a pimple right here. Let's see if that like, I don't know, makes it less noticeable. Um, kind of, I don't know. It's kind of a little dewy too. Um, it has hyaluronic acid in it, which um, is great, right? For those skincare benefits. So that's really cool. Next, I'm gonna go in with a concealer. Um, I've got this one from Oma Beauty, and right off the bat, I think this is also too dark for me. It's in the shade Honey Honey. Hmm, not too bad. I think um, because I have the wrong foundation shade that this kind of works. Um, it's a little too yellow, I think. Um, and then let's also do right here especially because I have that pimple there. Um, I don't like to bring attention to right here because I have a big forehead. So I'm just gonna leave that alone and maybe down the nose that might've been too much concealer. Okay, and the next product I've got is this, uh, another Oma Beauty product. This is the Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Duo Stick in Honey Honey. Um, so it's a highlighter and like a contour um, duo. It's really cool. Um, um, so I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna start off here and just blend it. I hope that wasn't too much. And when I'm applying contour, I like to blend up. I don't like to blend down because I feel like that um, doesn't do a good job with, that doesn't help lift the cheekbones cheekbones the cheekbones which is something that we want to keep lifted to make our face look sculpted and then I'm gonna do around my forehead just to make my forehead appear smaller which is a must for me I have a big forehead I'm happy with it I used to get made fun of for it actually and you know what I don't care I like my big forehead Brianna has a big forehead, so. I really do like this contour color though. I think that this is um, not too red for me. And then what I'm gonna do is, let's see, I'm gonna do eyes now. Now I'm not gonna do a lot of stuff for the eyes and I'm gonna use this palette from Juvia's Place. It's the Saharan. So I'm gonna take the shade Lulu. I'm gonna take this pink, um, I think it's kind of like pinky and orangey at the same time. Perhaps it's dual chrome. I don't know. Maybe not though. And I'm just gonna put that on my lid. And I just wanna kind of bring that up a little bit because I do have hooded eyes. I wanna fake the illusion of like, you know, bigger eyes, not hooded eyes. I'm gonna take another brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Katsina which is like this um, like light beige color and I'm just gonna use that to kind of 
deepen up the crease a little bit, use that as a bit of a transition shade. Yeah, I like that. I like how it's like not too dark. Okay, I'm gonna go into this shade, the Zoya one. It's like um, like a champagne rose gold shade. And I'm just gonna put that on the center of the lid um, just to bring a little bit more attention to the center. I do have two other palettes that were three. No, two that I might go into. This one is from Oma Beauty. I want to do a dedicated video on this palette. <laughs> I'm speechless. This palette is so nice. It's so nice. Um, but I'm going to go in with this shade. It's called Mazatlan. Mazatlan? I hope I'm saying that correctly. And it's kind of like... Um, a warm like cocoa and I'm just gonna use that to deepen up the outer third of my eye oh I love that you know what I'm actually going to put it on the inner corner here and there as well and to do that I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush this one is a pencil brush um, I'm also gonna put that right under my eye by my lash line kind of connect it up okay and then I'm gonna go back into the Juvia's Place palette I'm gonna use the same pencil brush I'm gonna go in with the Lulu shade which was the um, more like pinky orangey shade and I'm just gonna apply that in the center and then I'm also gonna take the Zoya one which was like the very pink champagne color and I'm gonna apply that right in the center all right and that's really it for the eyes that's all I'm gonna do um, I think this is a very very simple look to make uh, to recreate even if you don't have a lot of experience with eyeshadow um, or you're not great at like blending this was so easy I'm gonna use a Pat McGrath eyeshadow. It's the Fetish Eyes Mascara in, I think this is, I don't, does it have a shade? It's it's the black one. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this is the mini. I don't know if I've said this before, but I always buy minis because I feel like mascara expires so quickly or dries out so quickly that I have never used a full mascara. And so this just allows me to buy a number of mascaras, try them all out um, at the same time, and never have to really throw any of them away before I've gotten a chance to really use it. This mascara has um, like fibers in it, and I don't want any of those fibers to like get onto my skin, smudge, etc. Anyway, so that is it for the mascara. Oh, I love how this look is coming together. I'm so happy. Um, next, what I'm going to use is um, a blush. This one is the Fenty Beauty Cream uh, Rose Latte, um, the Cheeks Out blush. I think this would look good for a, like, everyday kind of very minimal look. Next up, I'm gonna use a highlighter. Um, yeah, let's use a highlighter before I start powdering. And I'm gonna go back into that Oma Beauty um, double take and just use the highlighter side, um, which is just like a really pretty champagne. I'm also gonna do that right here, right above my brows. I'm gonna do that right there on my nose. I'm not gonna do my chin just because I have that pimple there. I don't wanna highlight that. <laughs> so I'm using this Beauty Bakery Flower Powder, Pinch of Flower, better not, Setting Powder, <laughs> in the yellow shade. I picked this up from Target. It's like a small mini version of it. Um, 
But again, super accessible. You know, Target is such an easy place to travel to, to go to. <laughs> so it's really convenient. I'm just gonna set under my eyes, especially since this look is really on the dewy side. I'm going to set right here because I get really shiny there for some reason. Who knows why? Oh, I really like this powder. It's so like, so finely milled. I'm gonna go in with the Lip Bar um, Brow Gel and Pencil in Arch Nemesis. Now I've used this a couple of times and each time my brows just look very thick. So I need to be careful with this. So here's hoping that I will be. This side is a pencil side and it's like this strange teardrop triangle shape. I know this is not big. Um, people aren't really big fans of this. So I'm gonna try to be careful. This one's a little hard to work with. And then I'm just gonna use the other side of this brow thing, which is this brown um, spoolie. I don't, I usually use clear, so. And this one is super, super pigmented, so you have to be careful not to get it on your skin because it will just, it won't be pretty. So I'm just gonna try to brush these up. See, it's so easy to go like heavy handed on this product, which is so um, like difficult. And that's all that I'm gonna do. And the last product that I've got is this lip gloss. It's from the brand Mented. Um, this one was, I got this one from Amazon, I think. So also very convenient. Um, and it's like this coral color. Hopefully it goes with the look. And that is it for the look. What do you think? It's cute, I like it. And this is the final look. I really like it um, and it was so easy to do. It's so light. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing uh, makeup at all. I really loved all of the products that I used um, and and they're products that I plan to keep using throughout the entire year, not just during Black History Month. Um, I'm very excited <laughs> for these products. I'm really excited for this eyeshadow palette. It's, it's insane. I know I didn't use it much for this look, but I've never been so bold as to use these kinds of colors and I really want to. So we'll see, hopefully, buy some products that are within my shade range, but you know, I don't think it actually looks that bad. Like, I don't think it's that far off. So anyway, thank you for watching and please like this video if you like the look or the concept and let me know what brands you want me to try or looks or ideas. I don't know, I'm willing to do whatever you're interested in. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.